All right, I'm back with plan two here, and as you can see, I was able to make it work, and that's pretty much uh, what all these toys amount to these days, is um, I can make them work, but they're not perfect, and as you can see here, I had to cut this in half, and then use a screw to keep this in place. Luckily, the motors and all that good stuff is all s extremely light, so even if these parts move, it won't cause too much stress or too much strain um, on this joint. But um, having said that, you know, companies have got to stop making like subpar, um, subpar products like this. And uh, they have to really hire people to do quality control and uh, make sure that you're not sending out uh, you're not sending out a beta version of of a product which is not really complete and fully functioning. But anyway, um, the next part is also very annoying because as you can see here, you want to put a servo and um, again, there's no instructions but I guess it's supposed to go like this. This is supposed to follow that shape. But again, it doesn't go all the way in so I'm going to have to do some sawing or whatever to make sure that it does fit because even uh, once it does fit this part needs to be aligned when you connect the next piece you know and so again you know and the you can't just make these half-baked um, projects they need to be fully understood otherwise when you sell it to people um, you know people like me will be able to get these to work but most people just stomp on them or send them back to the um, company and the worst part is that most of these companies don't allow you to return the product or if they do um, they'll only give you a certain percentage of the money back it won't be the full amount so it's just one scam after another but anyway um, I will get this working and I'll show you what it looks like once it's done see you in the next video